Welcome to Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. And today we're talking about the breaking news of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer being appointed the new full-time manager of Manchester United. So there is now stability. The board have made the right decision and the board have finally decided to get the act together. <clears throat> Let's get right to it. Are we surprised about the news? No. Are we disappointed? Yes, we are disappointed that it should have come a bit sooner. But there's no time like the present. Let's get right to it. Let's have the meat and potatoes and let's have the main course of what's going on. Now that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is now the full-time manager, he can now plan, the board can now see and respect and support and adhere to what he wants taking the team forward. He wants a right back, he wants a right winger, he needs a central defender and he also needs an attacking or defensive midfielder to join his squad. Because we are going to be getting rid of... Um, we're going to get rid of Rojo, we're going to get rid of Rojo, we're going to get rid of Sanchez, we're going to get rid of Bailly, we're going to get rid of uh, Damian. So there's going to be five players who are going to be offloaded from United this summer. Sanchez has played 44 games for United and scored five goals. Talk about being a flop of all flops. But it is what we ha is. We've had three managers, we've had Davis Moyes, we've had Louis van Gaal and we've had Mr. Varus himself. Jose Marino, all three clowns have disappointed at such a big stage. They just could not perform. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has less experience than the previous two, Leo Van Gaal and Jose Marino. But he has the United philosophy, he has the United optimism, and he has the United direction. And with my feeling, this was just recently coming out from my United camp. My feeling was to take on the job as the manager of Australian national team and be a system manager to United on part-time basis. How that is going to work, I don't know. But this is where it all starts to go belly up. We have the Pogba rumour. We have Herrera. We have the girl who has still not signed. Herrera's contract runs out in two months. PSG are offering him 175000 a week and a five-year contract. Man United are only prepared to go to 120 from 85000 a week. Herrera shows passion. He shows grit. He shows determination. He shows leadership. He shows what United require in the middle. But United don't see that. All they see is trying to penny pinch money from players who deserve to get paid and the ones who don't deserve to get paid get overpaid i mean talk about not knowing your referee life talk about being full of shit but this is where we are in the current situation and state of united football club like louis van gaal said he said recently that man united are uh ole Gunnar Solskjaer is a park the bus manager i mean how does a pot color kettle black are you are you serious? Louis van Gaal is still bitter from being fired after winning the FA Cup. He was the master of sideway crab football. Everything United did went sideways. It was like watching paint dry. And he had the audacity to say we all have done nothing different from Jose Mourinho. Oh yes, he has. Ole does not fight the players. Ole does not fight the press. Ole does not criticize the youth policy. He doesn't say United is crap. He doesn't say United do not have heritage. He doesn't say United um, do not have the philosophy. He's full of crap. He needs to just shut up. The only good thing from Louis van Gaal he said was United need to improve on the youth policy. And the only thing he did was improving and introducing Martial and Rafford. Other than that, and the thought of he said United has become a commercialized club. I get it. United are beginning to be a club whereby as far as the balance sheets and the stock market is happy, Everything that goes on the pitch, they don't care. But we have to make sure the board listen because the success of the on the field is what gives the stock exchange the, the balance sheets that they are requiring. So United Board of Directors need to appoint a the director of football who will guide them in this new direction that Ole Gunnar is taking us. Don't forget to subscribe. Soccer as we like it, the Man United direction. We will be back after the game against Watford on Saturday. This is another game returning after this international break. I do not like international breaks because to me, qualifiers, international friendlies are just a load of waste of time. But we were back on Saturday after the match against Watford. Don't forget to watch our, our match reactions, fan reactions, fan interviews, fan cams, and post-match summary reports and talking points on our channel, Soccer As We Like It, the Man United direction. Well, with the game coming up, uh, a lot of players pulled out from international, international this week. But the funny thing, all the players who returned injured from international are already and fit. 
which gives them just enough time to be ready for United game against Watford. So we is is, is a win win win. So we will start with De Gea, Luke Shaw, Ashley Young, Lindelof, and Smalling, Matic, Herrera, and Pogba, uh, uh, Rashford, Lukaku, and Lingard. That's the lineup that will start. I think will start. And if you have any different things, drop us a line and we'll talk about it and debate it. We shall see after the game. Welcome, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, full-time job, and let's get this show started. Thank you very much. Soccer as we like it, the Man United direction.